Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic reduction in bottom up parsing. Already, we have discussed about the concept of bottom up parsing. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Bottom up parsing is nothing but the given input string will be reduced to the start symbol of the grammar. So, if the input string is A plus B, this will be reduced to the start symbol of the grammar. So, here the start symbol of the grammar is nothing but E. So, here the important concept involved in bottom up parsing is nothing but reduction. That is, in every step, we will reduce the substring till it reaches to the start symbol of the grammar. So, the reduction process will be implemented in each and every step of bottom up parsing. In every step, we need to identify a substring. So, for this substring, we need to apply a production rule such that it will reach to the start symbol of the grammar. So, this is nothing but bottom up parsing. The bottom up parsing technique is just opposite to top down parsing technique. In top down parsing technique, the construction of the parse tree starts with the root node and proceeds towards downward till it constructs the leaf node. But bottom up parsing, it will start with the leaf node and proceed towards the top till it derives the start symbol of the grammar. So the most important concept used in bottom up parsing technique is nothing but the concept reduction. So reduction is in every step of bottom up parsing technique it will identify a matching substring. So for example if you are considering this substring A so it will match to the substring E derives A. So we have identified a matching substring in the right hand side of the production and next step we will replace this matching substring with the left hand side variable. So now the substring A will be replaced with the left hand side variable E. Next step again for this substring B we will identify as matching substring in the right hand side of the production that is B. So, for this substring B, we will replace with the left hand side variable that is nothing but E. Next step, we will identify a matching substring E plus E. So, for this E plus E, it is matching with E derives E plus E. This matching substring in the right hand side of the production will be replaced with the left hand side variable. So, now it has reached to the start symbol of the grammar. So, this is nothing but the bottom up parsing technique. So, in every step of bottom up parsing technique, the reduction process will take place. So, reduction process is nothing but it will identify a matching substring in the right hand side of the production and that will be replaced with the left hand side variable. For example, consider this given grammar and for this given grammar, we will implement the rightmost derivation to derive the input symbol id plus id. So, the rightmost derivation starts with the start symbol of the grammar e. In order to derive id plus id, we will apply the production rule e plus t. So, rightmost derivation is nothing but it will always choose the rightmost non-terminal to apply the production rule. So, here the rightmost non-terminal is t. So, for this t, we need to apply the production rule. So, we will apply the production rule t derives f. For this rightmost non-terminal f, we will apply the production rule f derives id. So, here only one non-terminal is there. So, for this non-terminal, again we will apply the production rule e derives t. Next step, only one non-terminal. For this, we will apply the production rule t derives f. In the next step, EF derives ID. So now we have derived the input string with the help of the rightmost derivation. So this bottom up parsing, if we are considering, it is nothing but the reverse of rightmost derivation. Now we will show it here. Next, for the same input string, we will apply the bottom up parsing and we will show it how the reduction process takes place. So the given input string is nothing but ID plus ID. So here if you are considering first we will choose this id and for this id what is the matching right hand side production. So f derives id so right hand side of the production id is matching. So now this id is the substring and this substring will be replaced with the left hand side non-terminal. So now we will replace id with f. In the next step 
again we will choose this non terminal f and for this non terminal we will check with the right hand side of the production substring f is matching here and the left hand side variable is nothing but t so now we will apply the production rule t derives f and in the next step we will take the substring t and this substring is matched in the right hand side of the production here and now this will be replaced with the left hand side non terminal that is e so now this is e plus id and in the next step we will choose the substring id and for this id we will check with the matching right hand side of the production that is f derives id so now we will replace this with f next step we will choose the substring f for this f we will apply the production rule t derives f so matching right hand side of the production is f and the left hand side variable is t so now we will replace f with t and in the next step e plus t so the matching substring we need to identify in the right hand side of the production so e plus t is matching here so now the production rule is e derives e plus t and we need to replace with the left hand side variable that is e so now we have reached the start symbol of the grammar so this is nothing but bottom up parsing so in bottom up parsing we need to identify a string or a substring such that it will match with the right hand side of the production and we need to replace it with the left hand side variable so this process will be implemented in every step of bottom up parsing and if you are considering here this bottom up parsing technique is nothing but the reverse of rightmost derivation so here rightmost derivation starts with the start symbol of the grammar it derives the input string or the complete terminal string so here bottom up parsing starts with the terminal string or the input string and proceed till it derives the start symbol of the grammar so bottom up parsing is nothing but it is reverse of rightmost derivation the key decision for the reduction process is when to reduce so every step we will choose the substring even this is a substring even this is also a substring the key decision is when to reduce the substring even in this step if you are considering for this non terminal we can apply the production rule t star f but we need to derive the start symbol of the grammar so in every step when you are choosing the substring that matches with the right hand side of the production we need to concentrate when to reduce that substring that right decision we have to take and what is the production rule to apply so the production rule we need to apply such that it should reach to the start symbol of the grammar in every step of bottom up parsing the reduction process will be implemented the reduction process we will implement with the help of these two key decisions so in this session we have discussed with the important concept called reduction process in bottom up parsing in the next session we will discuss about the next important concept in bottom up parsing that is called handle pruning thank you for watching this video